One of the most adorable animals in the United Kingdom is the humble hedgehog, which are largely nocturnal and rarely seen during the day. However, the State of Britain's Hedgehog Survey in 2022 showed that hedgehogs have undergone a long historic decline. Hedgehogs have been put on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's red list of threatened species as vulnerable for extinction in Great Britain. What can we each do to help the hedgehog population recover? Here are some insights into my journey to help hedgehogs in my area. Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. After discovering hedgehogs in our garden, I took steps towards making our garden more hedgehog friendly, and you can too. Let's take a look at hedgehogs and how we can provide a safe place for them to survive and thrive. You may not have seen many hedgehogs in your locality, and that's because they're nocturnal creatures and are primarily active at night. They also are solitary animals and prefer to live alone, except during the mating season in April to September. Additionally, hedgehogs hibernate from November to March, so that they need a safe place to do so. A hedgehog's natural diet is insects, worms, snails and slugs. But it can be really good to put out other protein-rich food, such as cat or dog food, either wet, jelly is better than gravy, or dry food. Try to avoid tripe, fish or beef flavours, with chicken and turkey being the best food options. Avoid milk, bread and salty or sugary foods, as these can harm hedgehogs and make them feel poorly. There is specifically formulated hedgehog food, such as this dry food that I specially purchased from Ark Wildlife, not sponsored, but a good source for hedgehog food and other accessories, to ensure that it meets their dietary requirements. If you see a hedgehog in their hibernation period between November and March, leave food out for them to help them survive at this crucial period of their annual cycle. If you're getting value out of this episode, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more environmental and sustainability videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to ensure that you don't miss out on our other new videos. To give a hedgehog the opportunity to have undisturbed feeding, it can be a good idea to have a feeding house which should be sturdy, waterproof and have a small entrance to keep out larger animals. This one that I bought was ready made but you can design and build one of your own as long as you remember the key features that it should be a good weatherproof construction to ensure that the food can stay dry and fresh. That it has an access hole preferably two one at the back and one at the front so that the hedgehog doesn't feel that they're trapped and it has easy access for providing fresh food. And finally, the ability to clean the feeding house regularly to prevent the spread of disease. Placement is important. Try to put their feeding house in a quiet, sheltered part of your garden. You may want to provide a small feeding dish, such as this one. It provides a small handle to easily grab the dish has a small hole to allow for any water to drain away and is at an ideal height for the hedgehog to feed at. Additionally, a low profile dish at the right height for a hedgehog can be filled with water to ensure that the hedgehog has a plentiful supply of water after its meals and in hot times of the year, such as the summer. A useful way to keep an eye on the hedgehogs in your garden is to get one of these wildlife cameras which are motion activated and provide no glow night vision to capture the nocturnal activities of hedgehogs such as in the videos that you can see elsewhere in this episode. Seven tips for creating a hedgehog friendly garden. Tip one, provide shelter. Try to provide log piles, 
leaf piles or compost heaps for natural shelter or provide a hedgehog house by installing a purpose-built hedgehog house for hibernation and nesting. Tip two, provide a fresh supply of water. Ensure that there's always a shallow dish of fresh water available for that thirsty hedgehog. Tip three, make your garden a hedgehog safe environment by avoiding the use of pesticides and slug pellets as these can poison hedgehogs. Tip four, hedgehog highways. Create small gaps in your fences to allow hedgehogs to roam freely between gardens. Tip five, raise awareness. Educate your neighbours about hedgehog friendly practices as hedgehogs need to roam across a number of gardens as part of their territory. Tip six is be observant. Regularly check your garden for hedgehogs, especially during hibernation season, to ensure that they are safe and undisturbed. And finally, tip seven, seek further information which can be obtained from the British Hedgehog Preservation Society. By following these guidelines, you can create a safe and welcoming environment for hedgehogs in your garden and help to boost their population in your local area. Further information presented in this episode is given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. Do you have any specific questions about hedgehog care? If so, leave them in the box below. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes on environmental management and sustainability by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right and to subscribe to this channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.